Good morning, Diesel. What a gorgeous day. It is gorgeous. A little bit hot, but still gorgeous. We're going to be headed north today towards Canada. Should be at our destination tonight, and then I have tomorrow off. Figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Yeah, we might go see a movie, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then Monday, we start making deliveries around Southern Ontario. Glad you could join us today. We're very excited to have you with us. Very excited. Right, Diesel? Very excited. So sit back and enjoy the vlog. Morning, folks. What a weird looking tree. It's like a, a weeping willow, but it's a pine tree. It's like a weeping pine tree. Look how sad you look. What a saggy tree. Diesel, look at this thing, eh? We woke up here at the Pilot in Georgetown, Kentucky. On the east side of the highway. There's another one over there on the west side of the highway as well. It is a beautiful, beautiful summer day. Technically, it's not actually even summer yet, is it? It's close to summer. Feels like summer to me. This is summer, but June 21st, I believe, is the first day of summer. It's also the longest day of the year. And after June 21st, the days start getting shorter again. The daylight hours, anyway. Come on, bud. Come on. Let's keep it moving, buddy. Keep it moving. What weird plants they got down here. Like, look at this. What is that? Looks violent, doesn't it? What a weird plant, eh, Diesel? You don't care. Is there any dogs in there, maybe, I could play with, you think, maybe? I mean, I'll go check, man, I'll go check, just in case. You know, this is nicely mowed lawn here, but look at this angle, you see that? I hope their lawnmower has a, one of those roll bars on it. <laughs> Must be fun mowing this lawn, I think of these things. Okay, all right, Diesel. Let's give her. Rock and roll. Let's actually do more rolling than rocking. Get ourselves back onto the interstate. It is a warm one out there today, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo! Thank the good Lord for air conditioning. I don't know how they did it before then. Man, are we spoiled nowadays. Not too long ago, air conditioning didn't even exist. You'd have asked, where's the air conditioning? And they would have given you this blank look. The what? All right, here we go. On the runway, the on-ramp. This on-ramp is designed so that you can get as close to highway speed as possible before entering the highway. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So when you're on this on-ramp, you should be giving her. You should have your, get, your your gas pedal, what is it, depressed or impressed? You should have your foot on the gas. And by the time you enter that lane right there to your left, you should be doing highway speed, or as close to it as possible. 
and pay attention when merging. All Continue of you. 100 kilometers on I-75 North. Mandy, we're in the States. You got us talking miles. They have no idea what you're talking about. That's 62 miles. All trucks, right lane. All great. And a scale to first thing in the morning. Good morning. How heavy are you? How rude can you be? Yeah, you're closed. Yeah, you better be. You don't need to know how fat I am. All right? I'm comfortable with my weight. I'm happy with the way I look. We're in Kentucky. And headed north on Interstate 75 here. Like Mandy was saying, in about 60 miles, we gotta keep left on the I-75 towards Dayton. So we'll be going through Cincinnati, through Ohio, up into Michigan. Got Dayton, Ohio over there in the distance. Downtown Dayton. Roads here are under construction, but that's no surprise. We are in Ohio. I'm not even from here, but I do know that every time I come here, it's under construction. The whole state. Not just a little bit here, a little bit. No, the whole thing. Interstate 75 through the whole state. Construction. It's more of a treat when there's no construction for a few miles. You're like, oh wow, this is nice. Wait, nope, there's the cones up ahead. When they're done construction, it will be a glorious, magnificent highway of goodness. At least it better be. I mean, for those of you who live around here and live in the state, I mean, you guys are probably hoping more than anybody. You guys gotta live with this construction. <laughs> You're probably thinking, yeah, well, it better be the best freeway in the state. If not the best freeway in the state, the best freeway in the country. You know what I mean? Took them long enough to do it. <laughs> oh, Ohio, 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 Ohio. Why am I going so slow? How you doing there, Diesel? Just checking. Detroit. Off to our right, just in a little bit there, you'll see the Ambassador Bridge in the distance, probably. We're not crossing over that bridge. We're going up a little further north, about 60 miles further north, 100 kilometers, to Port Huron, Michigan, where we're gonna cross over a different bridge to Sarnia, Ontario. Just across the water over here to our right, you won't see it, but Canada is just over there. But that's Windsor, Ontario, so a different city. The reason, one reason I like to cross at Sarnia and Port Huron is that it's less traveled. It's not as busy. However, I don't like coming from Canada into the States at that border crossing because I seem to have a lot more problems and difficulty with borders and customs there on the US side coming into the States. A lot of people get very nervous when they cross the border. And rightfully so, you're supposed to be nervous. <laughs> That's the border guard's job, is to make you nervous. Not in a bad way, but he's not there to be your friend. He doesn't care about your life story. Keep left on I-94. Or she. They don't care about your whole history or, you know, 
your car or whatever else you want to talk about answer whatever questions they ask you and leave it at that don't go into detail if you're borrowing someone's car to cross the border let them know that and then don't go into details about why you're borrowing it about how yours is in the shop or or you had an accident and now you have to borrow theirs and you don't even like their car that much but here we are now you got to take it down to the states don't tell them all that just tell them whose car it is make sure you have proof that you have permission to use it so have a, a letter of permission that is signed by the registered owner of the vehicle say you have, they have your permission with uh, contact information to contact that person tell them more than they want to know. They don't care. If they wanted to know, they would ask. How's that pig ear there, Diesel? Good? Was it good? Looks like it. Glad you liked it. Canada folks hooray I like both sides so I say hooray every time I cross whether I'm going that way or this way take ramp to highway 402 east a little calm down Mandy I know you're excited to be back in Canada I know you gotta calm down though take her easy so we're in Sarnia welcome to Sarnia it's like Narnia with an S and without so many weird creatures, just Canadians. And those are some pretty weird creatures. Like, just look at me. I'm a weird guy. So now we have another just over two hours. We'll be in Guelph, Ontario till Monday. It's going to be fun. Tim Hortons. I've been without it for a few days now. And this is what my life has been like. Dark. So we're at the uh, on route, just past London towards Toronto. I'm gonna go all the way up to Guelph yet tonight. Probably unhook my trailer, hang around there. I don't gotta do anything till Monday, so I'm probably gonna stay up late. I even bought a movie to watch. I bought The Exorcist. I know there's like a bunch of different versions of it, but somebody brought it to my attention. Uh, the other day we were talking about the exorcist and then i saw it in the truck stop i was like hey i've got to figure out what this thing's all about it was made in what 2005 so i don't know if it's the newest one or the best one i'm gonna check it out anyways probably scare the pants off myself and i won't be able to sleep till monday ah, i'm not like that but i actually enjoy uh, scary movies quite a bit. I don't have any problems with them, but we'll find out. Maybe this one's different. Maybe this one's even more scary than regular. Just about time to hang up the hat. Made it to Guelph, Ontario. Nice little city here. Just, I would say south of Toronto. What is it? West to them? Uh, south, man. Before you get to Toronto, there's Guelph. So I want to thank you for joining me today. It's been a great day. Made it back up here to Canada. We're going to hang out here for the weekend until Monday. We'll have a lot of fun. I don't know. We'll probably just sit around and do absolutely nothing. I don't know what will happen in tomorrow's vlog. But hey, come join me anyways. Come check it out. I don't want to be all by myself. So I'd like it if you'd come down and hang out with me anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. See you then. <laughs>